Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be watching some more Vampire Diaries. We're at season 4 episode 17 and this one is titled Because the Night. Because the Night. The Night in New York. Like he said, the, the city that never sleeps. So are they gonna go there to do some research or really just to have fun? I know that New York is fun. If any of you are from New York or have ever been to New York, just let me know. Uh, yeah, let's just get into the episode and we'll talk about it after. So let's go. Is he? Do you think he's dead? I don't know. Oh my God. You're not a serial killer, are you? You son of Sam! It's not a Giuseppe, but close enough. Oh, I thought it was right now! Elena's okay with this little field trip. Just yesterday, she was living the vampire high life. She doesn't want the cure. That's why I didn't tell her. Damn it, if she finds out you're still looking for it, she'll bolt. I'm aware of that, Stefan. What I'm hoping is she's going to be so wasted on booze and blood that she won't even think about it. Don't underestimate her. Do my thing. You got a moral named Silas to deal with, man. Is that Catherine? Oh, it's Elena. Oh, she got a haircut? Looks good on her. Give it a couple hours. It's supposed to be crawling with more pumped out nihilists than you could eat in a decade, trust me. How do you know? Because I spent most of the 70s here. Billy's was the underground of the underground. The haircut though. You pick him up. He gets redeemed. You get your Florence Nightingale jellies. Well, I'm not him, and I don't want or need you. Well, too bad, because you got me. Well, she sounds dreadful. My brother knows what he's doing. Does he? Don't underestimate the allure of darkness, Stefan. Even the purest hearts are drawn to it. Uh, I think I found something. Caroline. Symbolic figures in the dark arts. Humans. As a council fire. Okay, yeah. Demons. What's as next? A tired failure. Well, I'm not exactly it failure. What's the third? Werewolves? You want me to kill witches? Oh, oh witches! It's temporary. They'll come back. We have to endure them until all twelve are linked as one. <laughs> Okay, no one's seeing this? Is it just you? This place wasn't easy to find. I figured you wouldn't want to draw attention. It'll work. There's almost nothing as strong as a full coven. So I brought 11 of my closest friends. It won't be fun, but we're gonna cleanse you. You ready? Let's do this. Yo, know, I can help you. You want the cure off the table and I want to take it? 
We can work together. Work together? Don't you hate me? I hate the moral, self-righteous version of you, but this one's not so bad. The best part of having no emotions is that I can think rationally. I'll do whatever it takes to get this done. You're the opposite. A pile of neurosis and insecurities, hopes and dreams. You're basically one big emotional variable that I just don't really need. You just made me miss the old Elena. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... Call out to the spirits, Bonnie. That's her Let trick, them. right? She's gonna bind them all together. This is dream. <laughs> They're binding. So Silas is appearing as Professor Shane. Wouldn't be my first choice. Well, it would it be if you needed to brainwash Bonnie into committing a massacre? Need me to come home? No, we got it. I'm pretty sure that this filing system goes by birthday, but I can't for the life of me remember Catherine. June 5th, 1473. And that, brother, is why you are the better boyfriend. She's a Gemini. That explains well, a lot. That. Sorry, had to get some quiet. Could hear seven over the runaways 2.0. Let me guess, he's worried. Jealous, mainly. Tim and acid flashbacks of me and Lexi in the 70s in New York. Tell you about over Come on. Every night, we get wasted. The second I bottom out, you have to bring up Catherine. Because you loved her, and love is the most powerful emotion. If I can just get you to remember how you felt about her... I don't want to remember. Talking about Catherine's not going to help me. Why not? Because she's not the person I care about. The switch... Why didn't you tell me? Because I barely felt it at first. Every night is going strong. Is he kidding? He just wants to get in her pants, right? He's gonna be like, psych! Where are you going? To the roof. I wanna hear the rest of the story. Okay. She's gonna go to the apartment, right? Flashback? Yeah. For yeah, what? she was pretending. Uh, for the last six months of my life, for the nagging and the self righteous platitudes, I'm paying you back for six months of you. Your humanity isn't back on, is it? Never was. So this was all just a joke. A big fat lie. I managed to avoid her for decades, and then she just shows up in Mystic Falls to wish my baby bro happy birthday, and boom. He killed her. Russian memories. Russian guilt. So you kill her? Out of sight, out of mind. Every day that you're like this is a day that you might do the one thing that you can't take back. I'm not taking the cure, Damon. Yes, you are. Even if I have to break your neck or tie you up in chains until we find it. What was that you said about handling things yourself? <laughs> Look at them! 
They're just coming together. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. It's very weird. What's the last thing you can remember? I guess I remember being in that cave and Jeremy was trying to pry the cure out of Silas's hands. Shut up. I just killed 12 people. She locked the door. She locked the door, didn't she? If you're searching for the words to tell me how badly I screwed up, save your breath. I didn't stop the massacre. I guess that else is everything he needs. Everything but the cure. I'm sorry, mate. Don't have it. But you know who does. And the last thing that you want is for that cure to be used on you, so you bring it to me. Oh. Now, where did you get that? Well, let's just say your sister's mind is a little easier to read than yours. <gasps> you find it. But don't worry, I'm not trying to kill you, not just yet. Just a little something to remember me by. He broke it. He broke it. Ouch. The hell? Is it gonna weaken him? Cause it's from the white oak tree? Cause it's not in his heart, like he's not gonna die, but I feel like he broke it in his back. That's gonna hurt like a bitch. Shit. All right, oh my God, can we talk about Elena's new haircut? Cause it's adorable, I freaking love it. It's very nice. She looks great with the little red hair too. Oh my God, I love the pairing of Elena and Rebecca this episode cause it really felt natural. It didn't feel forced. You just noticed that Elena's a little bit more like, you know, she doesn't get affected by everything that was affecting her before and all related to Rebecca, you know? So she doesn't really care. She just sees Rebecca as someone to have fun with. Like, she's there, she's tagging along. Right, we're having fun. And then when they talk, they saw that, like, they had mutual interest. Elena doesn't want the cure. Rebecca does. Damon wants the cure for Elena. So, like, they're getting together to just get the cure and I guess give it to Rebecca. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Now Elena and Rebecca are going to see Catherine. Like I said, I have no idea what's gonna come out of that because you never know with Catherine. I was so happy when I realized that she was there, like in the cave. I was like, oh my God, she's back. But then she killed Jeremy. I know that Silas killed Jeremy, but I mean, for me, Catherine killed him. Like, sh she's the one. She's the reason why he's dead. And I still can't believe Jeremy's gone. This episode was great. It was season four, episode 17, because the night. They were in New York. They were having fun, trying to get the cure. We're going to see Catherine, new haircut, looking good, flashbacks, great episode. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys for the next episode and thank you for watching. Bye bye.